Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Destiny doors through relationships. Opening destiny doors through relationships opening destiny doors through relationships let's go to our text luke 11 from verse 5 luke 11 from verse 5 opening destiny doors through relationship atmosphere shift now chains be broken Break out, Holy Spirit, move now. Heaven open, heaven atmosphere. atmosphere. That's a prophetic word for someone. and five and he said unto them which of you shall have a friend pay attention now and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him friend lend me three loaves uh-huh for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him follow the story carefully now verse 7 and he from within shall answer him and say, Trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. Are you following the story now? I say unto you that though he will not rise to give him, but because, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And then verse 9 says, in this similitude, ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Last verse. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. He that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Let's go back to verse 5. And let's begin to observe a few things. Number one, the Bible says, which of you shall have a friend everybody say have a friend so this issue of opening doors is among friends not strangers are we together now when the guy was in trouble he did not run around he went straight to his friend he said which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight that means only a friend can accommodate that level of inconvenience you do not go to a stranger by midnight he will arrest you it is not usual to go and bother and disturb people at midnight, but that there is an advantage that friendship provides that even at uncomfortable situations or at uncomfortable circumstances, rules can be bent over. And the secret is that a friend, he said, who, which of you shall have a friend and then go to that friend at midnight, notice and say unto him, friend, the person in need did not call the one who he wanted him to help by his name, he invoked the relationship. He didn't say, Joseph or Stephen, come out. He said, friend. In other words, under normal circumstances, you should be offended. But I am reminding you that the platform upon which I am making this demand is friendship. Lend me three loaves. Are we learning already? Verse 6. Notice again that the purpose for his meeting his friend is to help honor another friend are we following now there is a reason why the bible is teaching us this 
You know, when you read the Bible, you have to read by the Spirit. Otherwise, you will not see anything there. It will be before you, yet you will not see it. A friend of mine, that means someone else too came to me. It's not my fault. Ordinary, ordinarily speaking, I should be sleeping. But someone else inconvenienced me and I had to bend over because of relationship. And so also, I have come to you. This friend came from a journey unprepared and he i don't have anything to give him but because he's my friend i will not drive him away i opened the door of my house to him but now i am stranded as a person so i must do the same thing he did too are we following now and then he went to his friend and he said friend sorry for disturbing you this night can you open the door for me verse 7 the bible says and he from within shall answer and say trouble me not notice the guy within never called him friend he didn't re reciprocate and say oh my friend you're outside no 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 he was angry and said no please go away trouble me not the door is now shut and my children are with me i cannot rise and give you now hear what jesus says verse 8 i say unto you though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend leave the other things that he's talking about that means there are two possibilities here one he can arise and give him because he's his friend is that true and then number two he can arise because of importunity the word importunity there is the word persistence persistence almost to the point of annoyance are we together now so that this door can be opened through friendship and because of friendship. Two more scriptures and then we'll begin to discuss. Relationships are very, very powerful. In Proverbs 13 and 20, Proverbs 13 and 20, the Bible says, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. It never said he that is around wise men. He that walketh with them. Are we together that you move as they move he shall be wise that means when the man started the journey he was not wise his friends were wise but he was yet to be wise his secret was that he chose to walk with them and the bible says he shall be wise that means you can predict the future of that person even though at the point of beginning that journey the person may not yet be wise but because he has chosen to keep a wise relationship the bible guarantees that he shall be wise but a companion of fools now we don't know whether that companion was wise before we just know that the people around him were fools and the bible says he shall be destroyed because of it are we together Yes. In Matthew chapter 4, I believe that should be verse 19 or there about either 17 or 19. Jesus beckoned on the disciples and he says, follow me and I will make you. Follow me, 19, and I will make you. I will not make you when you stand from afar. I will not make you when you sit afar wishing. I will only make you when you follow me. Follow me, he says, that is the price for your making. I've taught you here in this house that destiny fulfillment, you may want to write this down, destiny fulfillment and advancement is practically impossible without relationships and strategic connections. Destiny fulfillment and advancement is practically impossible without relationships and strategic connections let me take it one more time destiny fulfillment and advancement is practically impossible without relationships and strategic connections hallelujah so it is impossible to actualize destiny and to make constructive progress in your life ignoring this deep spiritual mystery that is is a master key to opening doors relationships write this down please relationships are bridges to an exceptional life bridges from the word bridge b-r-i-d 
G-E-S. Relationships are bridges to an exceptional life. And relationships are also bridges to a life of pain and regret. Oh, I just spotted Pastor Akin. God bless you. Such an honor to have you around. Let's give him a big God bless you. Dear friend and brother, God bless you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Are we together? Relationships are bridges to an exceptional life. That means from where you are, looking at an exceptional life in Christ, a life of kingdom impact, that the bridge that you have to cross to that realm are relationships. And standing before you and a life of pain and regret and destruction, they are also relationships. Relationships are bridges that lead to an exceptional life. Relationships are also bridges that lead to a life of pain and regret. Is someone learning? Very, very important information about relationships. Remember we stated first that destiny fulfillment and advancement is practically impossible except and unless through relationships and strategic connections. Now we're saying that relationships are bridges both to an exceptional life and a life of pain and regret. The last information I'll give you here is that relationships are currencies. It's not new to us in this house, but please write it now with revelation. Relationships are currencies. Like you have dollars, you have pounds, you have naira, and so on and so forth. Relationships are currencies. They can buy what money can buy, and they can buy what money cannot buy relationships are currencies please in the name of jesus christ listen they can buy both what money can buy and where money stops they can go further to buy what money cannot buy for instance money cannot buy you your salvation but a relationship in this case with the lord jesus can make salvation a reality in your life let me announce to you first and foremost, dear people of God, you know by now, but it, it bears repeating again that money does not solve every problem. Are we together? I'm not downplaying the relevance of financial resources, but it is a miracle for you to find, to believe it early, that money does not solve every problem. Are we together? Relationships are currencies they are currencies my goodness they they have high level purchasing power they can buy what money can buy and they can also buy what money cannot buy i have prayed a prayer for you many times in koinonia and let me pray it again that may you never be so poor that all you have is money Amen. did you get the prayer that may you never be so poor that the only thing you have in your life is money. Men have risen to enviable destinies from very modest and sometimes shameful backgrounds using the leverage of relationships. The Bible, ancient and modern history is full of the autobiography of ordinary men and women who did not have any comeliness to be desired but they meandered across this mystery and through the ladder and the lift of relationships they rose to enviable positions spiritually economically sociologically politically and so on and so forth and the bible and even history is also full of men and women who neglected the power of this mystery of relationships. Some of them threw away relationships to look for money. Men like Judas Iscariot and they lost both. Judas had a relationship and he threw away a valuable relationship to pursue a lesser kind of thing, money. At the end of it, he got the money 
but now losing the relationship the money did not benefit him and he lost both in fact he lost everything including his life are we together now the easiest way to succeed in life and destiny is through relationships this is this is a fact the easiest way to succeed in life and destiny is through relationships there are many factors that are there in the success equation and all of them are useful and they have their place but i can tell you few of those factors come close to the excellency of understanding and engaging this mysterious key of relationships hallelujah are we learning already for someone all that i've said alone has been the washing of the water just delivering you because there are many people all they see in their dreams while they are awake is money everything they see is money they don't care who lives and who dies the most important thing is let there be money and we have this understanding that our entire life will magically be relevant when we have money may not necessarily be so destinies are enhanced and glorified through relationships my concern for tonight with respect to uh, our discussion using relationships as tools to open Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.